Okay, Don here again with the AS Rock. I've got my easy to boot SD card set up with the multi boot uh, SD card and the USB adapter. And um, I went ahead and uh, I'm getting into that menu there with the. Uh, I went ahead and deleted the uh, Windows 7 Home Premium X. X80, well, X64 is how it's named there, but anyway, the 64-bit Windows 7 and in, uh, installed repair ISO that I have because uh, Microsoft wouldn't let me download another one. I said contact the manufacturer and all that junk, even though I have a you know valid license key and everything. So um, thought I would just uh, what I did was I went back on my server over here this machine and I uh, <coughs> you know I, I was copying it from my backup drive so I went ahead and went to the my home folder and it's a Fedora 24 system so I went to home dawn and uh, in the downloads folder the original download was in there and uh, just in case you know there was something wrong with the backup copy I doubt it but uh, I copied that over to my SD card through the network then I ran make files contiguous and easy to boot again. And uh, so let's see if it errors out or what happens this time. Okay, go straight to that menu now. It used to go kind of wait. But the other one, let's see, what did I do last time on the one that worked? Okay, I just hit zero. I believe I hit zero on the 32 bit and it worked. Now let's see what happens here. Works. So either there was a problem when I did make files contiguous. I didn't pay any attention to the readout when it was done. I just kind of glanced and, and uh, shut it shut that Windows. You know, I do it in my Windows XP virtual machine over on my Fedora 23 system. So this time I looked through and I saw that there was the same. There's eight files that won't. That's the reason I just got used to not really reading it because there's eight files that won't um, I hope I clicked the 64-bit version <coughs> there's eight files that won't um, can't be defragged or whatever made contiguous and but they're not anything that matters or images and different things like that sheesh all this talking and making videos makes me just get distracted but I guess I did it right I'm not going to go reboot again. Okay, install now. What to know before installing. Of course, if you've never seen Windows 7 install, this might actually be interesting. But I'm not going to sit here and video the whole thing. But I'll kind of get started and, I don't know, I'll stop and start, I guess, with what looks important. A required, a, a required CD DVD drive device driver is missing. Oh, if you have a driver floppy disk CD, DVD, or USB flash drive, please insert it now. No, if the Windows installation media is CD drive, you can safely remove it for to, for this step. Well, what's the require? Oh, it wants the whole thing. Now, the only thing, yeah, all the, let me think. You know, I have the, uh, um, I guess I got to put it in there. The thing is, it's not for the right motherboard, so that could, I'm afraid that even caused trouble because this is a Shrock motherboard, not the E-Machines motherboard. And yeah, so not a single driver would be right, not anything. Videos on board, everything. So I'm gonna say okay. Hide drivers that are not compatible with hardware on this computer. Okay. So it's not going to do anything past this without it. <coughs> okay, let me. Uh, I'll just be fiddling around, so I'll stop and put that put that <laughs> machines and just see what happens. But I, I'm going to stop the video.